You ever wake up and see something and think to yourself, hmm, this is going to mess with a lot of people's days. And then sit back and think to yourself, not gonna mess up mine. I'm gonna love to see the outrage. Well, that's exactly what happened to me today after I seen the newest work of art the newest animation from one of the most creative and prolific artists in Dragon Ball YouTube. Darkness Artists has done it again. They have created a scene from the Dragon Ball Super manga. This scene is a scene on its own that brings a lot of controversy. So before I begin this video, I have to slap a huge warning on this. If you are easily offended, if you are easily triggered, then viewer discretion advised. Remember, Darkness Artist isn't the one that created the manga panel. He's just the one that is animating it and interpreting it in a way that he sees fit. So please make sure you treat Darkness Artist with the respect that he deserves because I will be linking his work in the description below in the top comments and give him the clout that he deserves. But first, I want to thank Sakurako and Tokyo Treat wholeheartedly for sponsoring today's video. Well, it's time to get to work editing this video. Goku Black, did Sakurako's box get here and you didn't tell me? And I got a Tokyo Treat box? Today I get the pleasure of telling you guys about two boxes with amazing Japanese value. With Sakurako, you will receive a traditional, authentic, artisan Japanese snack experience that partners with local Japanese snack makers who have shared their culture for the last 100 years. With Sakurako, you will have premium access to Japanese snacks, teas, and you will get a special Japanese tableware every single month. If you decide to gain the benefits of Tokyo Tree, you will have access to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time only. Each box comes with its own cultural guide booklet that gives you the history and culture of what you're eating, as well as explaining exactly what you're eating through a extensive ingredient and allergen list. Whichever box you pick, these snacks transport you a world away with their unique packaging and authentic branding transporting you to Japan with every single bite. This month's boxes are Sakura themed and contain many Sakura flavored snacks. My favorite one from Sakurako being the Nagano Apple Jam Bun and from Tokyo Treat their Yogurt Rush White and Yellow Peach Fanta. It is delicious. Don't wait, use my code BLASKAY for $5 off your first Sakura Co. box or Tokyo Tree box through the links in the description below and the top comment. What are you waiting for? I'll meet you on the streets of Japan. Already the beginning has me in tears. The baby crying. I don't know where he got this baby sound. I don't know if he did it himself, but it legit sounds like the Japanese voice of Goku as a baby crying for his dad. It is absolutely perfection. Whether you like it or not, Goku has parents and it's great to see him finally realizing who they are and remembering the last memory he had with them in such clarity. And honestly, we're seeing it animated. We're just eating great this year, eating fantastic. <laughs> Both the Goku and the Gine voices sound exactly like from DBS Broly, so I'm not exactly sure where he got the voices from, if he took some of the clips from DBS Broly and put it into this animation, but to me it just sounds extremely authentic and it sounds custom made. And the fact that we actually get to see this scene in animated format with words, animation, color, everything, is just a dream come true because honestly, I don't think we'll ever get this animated in Dragon Ball Super. I don't think that this is ever going to be a thing that's going to be animated. I feel like after Dragon Ball Super Superhero, we're going to be getting a time skip of an anime. That's what we're going to be getting. And all these movies and what's going on in the manga is all manga centric. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Shintani style plays perfectly here. It is amazing. And just the way that the ship leaves Planet Vegeta is mm, chef's kiss. Perfect, honestly. This is such a great attention to detail that it does make me want Shintani back. And hopefully if the Dragon Ball Super anime comes back, they kind of stick with that style. Even if it's not Shintani himself, they stick to that style. Goku finally remembers who his father is. And I mean, he probably should have said mother here. That's probably the only thing I would add. But here we are getting to the point of the video that's probably going to trigger a lot of people. But please take this as a work of art and just a fun animation because to me, honestly, this looks freaking badass. So there you have a Goku Masters Ultra Instinct, or at least uh, perfects it in his own ways. It's similar to what Whis was telling him. He does it because he's pushed by the memory of his parents. Of course, it's just a quick little animation, and so it's really cool to have something connected to his parents push what he's doing right now. I don't think this is going to be how it's like in the manga, like, at all. I think that he, Goku's gonna remember, tell Vegeta and tell Monaito about it, maybe even, uh, you know, comment about how his father defeated Gas, and then that's basically it. But in this, we get to see that Goku's uh, repressed memory of his family, this is what's gonna push him forward and push him into that Ultra Instinct. Now, you may be thinking it's unrealistic for him to go into a fit of rage with Ultra Instinct with this memory because Ultra Instinct is supposed to be a very tranquil form. Well, in the last chapter, we told him that, listen, you need to find your own version of Ultra Instinct. So what if his own version is tranquility mixed with rage? And instead of just the normal Goku here in Ultra Instinct, fashion, Goku actually gets Super Saiyan hair in the Ultra Instinct fashion because that's his version of Ultra Instinct. That'd be pretty damn cool. Great fucking animation. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe for more content.